Good morning. Bear with me while I just make sure I'm in the right group and we're live and all that fun stuff. And all that fun stuff. Sorry. I had to pull up the comments. Okay. Bear with me. My... <sighs> Trying to make sure you can see everything and get a drink. Sorry, I'm keep moving the camera on you. Hi, Melinda. It feels like ages since I spoke to you. <laughs> See, and I just hung up on the phone call a few minutes ago. Okay, so I'm going to bring you to me just a little bit more. Promise I'm almost done moving the camera. <laughs> I just want to make sure you can see everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started today. I am working on... Okay, so today I'm going to be using the something, if this is, if you're just catching this on the replay on YouTube, I'm Roberta from Sample with Roberta. I'm an independent Sampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for 10 years, going on 11 this June. I'm very, I love it. So today we're going to be using the Something Fancy stamp set. It does have a coordinating set of dies that you can purchase as a bundle right now. All of the bundle prices of the current products, even if it's carrying over, the bundle prices will be leaving us with the, when the new catalog goes live. So, if there's something you want and you want to save 10% on the bundle price, get it before it's gone. Okay, and so I'm also going to be using the, up here, it's called a Design a Daydream 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper, and this is $18, Hostess dollars, it's a host only designer series paper. I'm going to miss it. I actually have a couple packs of it and I love that paper. So we're going to be using that paper to create these cards. And then I brought in, um, Blackberry Bliss. And this is mint macaron. These are mint macaron. Um, that color is leaving, but the Blackberry Bliss is staying. It's just moving to our neutral family. Okay. So we're just going to start with our first card. Okay. So we have a, all the measurements are on my blog today, and there is a downloadable project sheet that shows all of the measurements for each card, okay? Look, my stamp and refill come in. I'm so excited to go back to being able to use my seal. Um, I stocked up. I bought like seven or eight of the refills just to, uh, so I don't run out. And I've made myself a promise. I'm going to start adding them to my orders regularly so that I've never run out again. That was hard being without. Okay. So I'm just, all I'm doing is attaching. So I detached the base, the Blackberry Bliss card front. Now I'm putting on the basic white. And then I want to check one thing really quick. Um, So I think I cut these too big. They're supposed to, these squares are supposed to be cut at one and a half by one and a half. And I cut them at two by two because that was the size I was going to use. And I decided to cut them smaller because of the front card front. So I'm just going through and I'm just going to cut these really quick. And then we can get started or uh, finish up our card. So they should just be one and a half by one and a half square. Okay, and then for this one, I'm using just the designer series paper because I remembered that the mint macaron is retired, and I'm just going to show you what you can, you could simply do this with just six different squares of designer series paper. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you on today's card. 
Um, so I'm going to use, so this green is going to be that color. And then I'm going to do my designs. Let's turn this. Let's do it like that. Okay. So that's what's going to look like with the six design series paper squares. And you can do, you could do design, you could do cardstock. Hi, Linda. Hi, Monica. Um, you could do it with the cardstock. It's just with, I haven't checked. I have not been on the computer to check and see what inventory status says as far as mint macaron. I know it's on the last chance list, so I didn't want to take a chance and not, you not be able to get it. So I'm, this card, I'm just switching it up a little and I'm going to, uh, just use the designer series paper. I figured that was work just as good. And I'm just layering my six squares, overlapping a little bit. Then I'm going to bring in my Blackberry Bliss ink. And we're doing this as with, it says with deep sympathy. I never have cards on hand when I need one for sympathy. So I thought this was, a, and this is a good set of car, of, this is a good, um, saying stamp set. So, let me grab my scissors. And I'll turn this over and we'll add dimensionals to the back. I'm just using up this, trying to use up this sheet of dimensionals. I've been on a dimensional kick lately. I've been using a lot of them. So, we're going to add this to the center. Then I'm going to bring in my take a pick tool and I'm using the pastel adhesive back sequins and I'm pretty sure these carried over. So I'm just going to use the pink ones. I'm pretty sure these are in the new catalog. Um, if not, you can use any, I used to love the opal browns, but they're retiring. So like I said, if you feel, um, you can use any embellishment you want. So this is card number one. Okay. And we're going to go to card number two. Okay. okay. So we have, um, So if you've got anybody purchased off the last chance list, I posted over the weekend, I think it was the weekend, my days are running together, that um, there are 10 or more stamp sets on the retired, on the last chance list that are all under $10. Okay, so what I did here, I'm going to show you this real quick. I took the designer series paper, you can use any designer series paper you want, and I did three uh, different patterns and this is a one inch by six inch piece and then I cut it in half which gave me my three pieces and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one piece down here toward the bottom and I'm going to use that as my guide to stamp my greeting because I want it right above that okay and then I'm going to come in with my other um, two pieces of designer series paper. I'm just going to turn this upside down so I can get it on as straight as possible. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to add this one. It doesn't have to be perfect because it is a handmade card after all. So on my blog is a link to a downloadable project sheet that you can download um, using the same ad adhesive um, pastel adhesive sequence. I use them all on all three cards. Okay. Nope. That one did not say. And then we're just going to put one right there. Okay. So this is card number two. 
So you can download the project sheet. It has all the measurements on it to where you can um, cut everything. And you could make multiples of all of these. These are fun, easy, quick cards. And all you have to do is have a good greeting set. If you don't have something fancy, which is the one I'm using, you can use any one. Um, they all, um, as long as it's a greeting stamp set, it'll work. Um, and then you can use any dies or punches to cut out to use your greetings on. I'm going to show you. I just got a new greeting stamp set that's carrying over. This one is really nice. I love this happy birthday. It's called Go To Greetings. And there's hello, just a note, thank you. And then there's another just a note, thank you, thinking of you, happy birthday. Thinking of you, happy birthday. So there's three happy birthdays in different fonts. Three thinking of yous, three just a notes. Um, so they're all different font, like in different sizes. So I'm excited to play with that. Um, and you could use any, like I said, you can use any designer series paper for these. You can use any um, greeting stamp set or any dies and punches. So you could make, this is very versatile. Okay, so we're still using the Blackberry ink and I'm just going to stamp thank you in my shape. This shape comes from the shape dies for the something fancy. Um, and these are really quick and easy to mass produce and get a lot um, of cards, but yet they're still really pretty. Okay, so we're just going to add our add our greeting and bring in our, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to use the pink ones one on each side and that will finish up our cards for today okay so that's card one this is the second one and this was our first card we made so there's all three cards so everything for these are on our or everything all the list of supplies are on my blog today with the downloadable project sheet I also posted over the weekend my I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quick so I have a paper share from the new catalog. Um, new catalogs will be going out around the 15th of the month. I'm going to start shipping out catalogs. But there's a, I'm doing a paper share. You get 89 six by six sheets. It's $35 plus shipping. Um, and I'm just doing flat rate priority mail shipping. Then I'm doing a Stampin' Up! Color, monthly color club. And this is going to be the 11 colors that we're adding into our core lines. So each month, I'm going to be focusing on one color. So like May, we're going to use Azure Afternoon. This is such a beautiful blue. And so what I, if you want to join the Stamp Color Club, you would message me, let me know, so I can put you on my list. And every month, I would email you out a host code. You will go to my online and a link, and you go to my online store, and you place a $40 order of the recommended supplies. Or if you already bought the ink pads and you still want to participate, you can do that also. Um, you just have to order $40 a month before tax and shipping using the host code. And then each month, around the 10th of the month, you'll have, you have to have to order placed by the 10th of the month. And then between the 15th and the 20th, I will mail you the card kits, um, actual physical product of card kits, just like you see me use when I do my card, when I do these cards. Um, and I will email you the project sheet and a video and the video. And I have my friend Katina is doing this at the same time as me. So you will get her project. I will only sip provide the kits for my two cards but when you get the project sheet and the links to the video you'll get her video my video and you'll get the project sheets for all four cards okay and if you're interested in, in this just email me at samplewithroberta at gmail.com to reserve your spot so that I know um, that you're interested at the same time I'm also going to be doing the in color club these are our five new in colors and it is also $40 and I will do, be doing one a month and at the same timeline. You have to until the 10th uh, to place your order with the host code. Um, and then I will send you the two card kits and the project sheet and video. For the, this one, you only get two card kits. They're from me. And you get the project sheet, which is my two cards, and a video of me putting the two cards together. If you want to join, you just need to email me at stampwithroberta at gmail.com so I can put you on my list so that on May, May 2nd, May 1st or 2nd, I can send you the host code and the link to shop for your $40, okay? And right now I have going on the April Birthday Club. This uses the Ready Rhino 
Um, the dies are no longer available, but I did not use the dies on my cards. I did on the layouts. Um, but this is $30, and that includes shipping, and you get $15 in product. Um, you get six card kits with envelopes, a project sheet and video, and then on uh, I do a live at noon. And this is May 14th, but that's Mother's Day. It's the week after. I will be doing the live for this. I'm not doing it on Mother's Day because not only is it Mother's Day, it's our anniversary. So I'm not doing that. Then I have my coffee and cards. And this is for April. They're four beautiful cards. Um, it is free with a 20, uh, the fee is $20 or free with a $25 order using a special host code. You get two each of four designs. So you get eight card kits with envelopes project sheets and videos and we do a Facebook live and it will be the week after the birthday one. Okay. So that is all the fun stuff there. And if you have any questions about any of my clubs or classes, just shoot me an email. And also on my blog, there's a tab that says clubs and classes and all the information and pictures are there. So you can see them and, um, and figure out which ones you want to join and email me. So thank you for joining me today for Facebook Live. Come back tomorrow at 11 and we will be going live to do our fun fold card. And it's really good. I, I they're, they're really good. So join me tomorrow and I will talk to you then. Thank you.